Hello and welcome everyone. I'm your science teacher Himita Chandulia. Students, today we are going to complete chapter number 14 of class 7 science that is electric current and its effect. Students, we already had discussed this chapter in our previous two videos. Today we are going to solve the question answers which are given in our textbook. Okay, so let's begin with question number one question number one is draw in your notebook the symbols to represent the following components of electrical circuit okay first one is connecting wires second one is switch in the off position then bulb cell switch in on position and battery we have to show the symbol so what we will do we have to make a table in first part of the table we will write the component of the electrical circuit and in second we will draw the symbol for them okay first one is connecting wire and everybody knows how we can show the connecting wire with a straight line is that clear everyone next one is switch in the off position or jab switch off position mein hai to hum kaise show karte hain that line is on upward okay so this is the symbol which is showing that switch is in off position third one is bulb fine this is the symbol for bulb next cell and here this is the symbol for cell this bigger line is positive terminal and the smaller one is negative one is it clear everybody next when the switch is in on position or beta jab switch on position mein hota hai to ye jo flap upar hota hai ye kya ho jata hai ye niche ho jata hai so we will draw switch in on position like this okay next one that is the last it is battery and we know battery is a combination of two or more cells fine so we will write here we will draw like this pehle ek cell fir dusra cell fir tisra cell aur hamesha it start with the positive terminal and end with the opposite one and that is negative is it clear everybody move to the next question class and next question is question number two draw the circuit diagram to represent the circuit shown in figure 14.21 yes this is your figure in which there is a circuit diagram fine it is the circuit one here we are having a cardboard on which we had fitted two drawing pins along with a safety pin Now safety pin dusre drawing pin se attach nahi that means hamara circuit kya hai open hai that means switch is off fine or switch agar off hai to hamara bulb glow nahi kar raha this is our bulb and this one is our cell fine to bulb glow nahi kar raha you have to represent this picture in your circuit diagram so we will draw the circuit diagram in this way this is our switch which is in off position is that clear agar off hai to bulb glow nahi karega here we are indicating bulb and here cell and these are the connecting wires okay so we will write here in the given circuit one terminal of the bulb is connected with the one terminal of the cell while their other terminals are connected to a safety pin is that clear and further however the safety pin is not connected with one of the drawing pen or a safety agar safety pin a and say drawing pin say connected nahi hai that means the circuit is not complete hence safety pin represent a switch in off position is it clear everybody class 7th move to the next question class and next question is question number 3 and it is figure 14.22 shows four cells fixed on a board draw lines to indicate how you will connect their terminals with wires to make a battery of four cells aapke paas ye char cell hai aapko in char cell ko connect karke battery banani hai fine ab hum ek cell ko dusre cell se kaise connect karenge wire se that is already clear to everybody that the positive terminal of one cell will connected with the negative terminal of 
अनदर सेल मतलब अपोजिट टर्मिनल्स को हम कनेक्ट करेंगे कैसे करेंगे हवा लुक हेयर बेटा सपोज द वायर इज फ्रॉम हेयर ओके दैन यू आर हैविंग दिस नेगेटिव टर्मिनल दैन यू विल कनेक्ट इट विद द पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल ऑफ अनदर सेल is that clear and further from here this negative terminal get connected with this positive terminal of third cell and here from negative this terminal with uh, this wire will connect with the positive terminal of the next one is it clear everybody we have to connect all the four cells with the help of wire and this is our wire fine in this way we will form a battery is it clear everybody fine agar further bhi koi aur hoga to then it will connect it from here is it okay move to the next question class and next question is the bulb in the circuit shown in figure 14.23 does not glow okay can you identify the problem okay make necessary changes in the circuit make the bulb glow okay pehle to hum ye dekhte hain ki bulb glow kyu nahi kar raha hai have a look here in the circuit diagram aapka switch on hai theek hai wires are properly connected but what's the problem here the problem is here कि आपके जो दो सेल्स कनेक्ट होके बैटरी बना रहे हैं इनके टर्मिनल्स आपने प्लस प्लस इसका पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल और इसका भी पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल अटैच कर रखा है सिंपल सी बात है हमें पता है करंट फ्लो करने के लिए हमें क्या करना पड़ेगा यू हैव टू अटैच यू हैव टू कनेक्ट वन सेल पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल विद अदर सेल्स नेगेटिव टर्मिनल सो गैट इट करेक्ट fine so what we will do the bulb in the circuit not glowing because the two cells are not connected properly to make the bulb glow the negative terminal of one cell should be connected to the positive terminal of the other cell as shown in our given figure have a look here ab hamara ye negative terminal hai ye positive terminal hai theek hai और ये फिर नेगेटिव है और ये और फिर हमारा बल्ब क्या करेगा हमारा बल्ब ग्लो करेगा इज इट क्लियर एवरीबडी फाइन पहले हमारा बल्ब ग्लो क्यों नहीं कर रहा था क्योंकि टर्मिनल सेम अटैच थे प्लस प्लस थे अब हमारे टर्मिनल्स हमने अपोजिट कर दिए हैं प्लस माइनस तो हमारा बल्ब क्या करेगा ग्लो करेगा is it clear everyone move to the next question class and next question is question number 5 that is name any two effects of electric current students we already had discussed there are two effects of electric current what are they first one is heating effect of electric current and second one is magnetic effect of electric current okay next question next question is question number 6 when the current is switched on through a wire a compass needle kept near by gets deflected from its north south position explain so we will write here when a current is switched on through a wire the wire starts behaving like a magnet okay hence when a compass needle is placed near the given current carrying wire it gets influenced by the magnetic effect of the electric current and gets deflected from its north to south position samajh mein aa gaya move to the next question class and next question is question number 7 that is will the compass needle show deflection when the switch in the circuit shown by figure 14.24 is closed ab bahut dhyan se dekho class 7th is circuit diagram ko agar ye switch close bhi hota hai open bhi hota hai whatever the question is asking you to kya ye jo aapki compass needle hai ye deflection show karegi sabse pehli baat सबसे पहले इसे अच्छे से ऑब्जर्व करो क्या इस सर्किट में आपको नहीं लगता कि यहाँ पर एक करंट सप्लाई सोर्स करंट को करंट सोर्स मिसिंग है ना तो कोई बैटरी दिख रही है ना कोई सेल दिख रहा है 
isn't it so we will write here that no no deflection will be shown by compass needle the given circuit does not have any current source in the absence of current the wire does not behave like a magnet obviously but there and hence the compass needle will not show any deflection is it clear everybody move to the next question and next question is very easy for all of you it is fill in the blank okay up first one is longer line in the symbol for a cell represents its dash terminal you remember this one maine aapko bataya tha this is the positive and this one is the negative to hamari jo lambi line hai ye kaun se terminal ko show kar rahi hai it is positive so write down here positive fine next one the combination of two or more cells is called what it is battery write down here battery next one when the current is switched on in a room heater it produces what it produces heat to likho it produces heat okay next one the safety device based on the heating effect of electric current is called a kya kehte hain hum usko jo hum use karte hain it is known as fuse fine is it clear everybody all the fill in the blanks move to the next question class and next question is that you have to mark t and f if the statement is true you have to mark t if the statement is false then you have to mark f read them carefully first one to make a battery of two cells the negative terminal of one cell is connected to the negative terminal of another cell not exactly this statement is false kya karenge ek cell ka negative terminal dusre cell ke positive terminal se connect hoga second one when the electric current through the fuse exceeds a certain limit the fuse wire melts and break yes this one is true okay read the next one next one is an electromagnet does not attract a piece of iron how is it possible electromagnet attract to karega hi so this statement is false fine an electromagnet does not attract a piece of iron it will attract beta fine an electric bell has an electromagnet yes it is true fine everybody all the true false are clear to everyone move to the next question class and next question is question number 10 do you think an electromagnet can be used for separating plastic bag from a garbage heap no absolutely no mai hum sochte hi nahi aisa then you have to explain it okay for the explanation we have to write here answer is no electromagnet can only attract magnetic materials fine और प्लास्टिक बैग क्या है नॉन मैग्नेटिक प्लास्टिक बैग इज अ नॉन मैग्नेटिक मटेरियल एंड विल नॉट बी अट्रैक्टेड टूवर्ड्स एन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेट ओके हैंस एन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेट कैन नॉट बी यूज फॉर सेपरेटिंग प्लास्टिक बैग्स फ्रॉम अ गार्बेज हीप इज इट क्लियर एवरीबडी फाइन मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्लास एंड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन read it carefully first an electrician is carrying out some repairs in your house okay he wants to replace a fuse by a piece of wire okay he is not doing a good thing would you agree no we are not agree okay give reason for your response and everybody knows ki jo fuse ke andar hum filament use karte hain wo normal wire se अलग होता है सो आंसर इज नो एंड द रीजन दैट वी हैव टू राइट इट इज हियर द इलेक्ट्रीशियन के नॉट बी अलाउड टू रिप्लेस द फ्यूज इन द हाउस बाय अ 
piece of wire this is because every wire cannot be used as a fuse filament okay a fuse filament must have a low melting point such that it could melt and break in response of large amount of current is that clear everybody most of the wires have high melting points that's why we can't use them as a filament for fuse okay move to the next question class and next question is question number 12 Zubeda made an electric circuit using a cell holder aur maine aapko sikhaya hai cell holder hum kaise bana sakte hain it is shown in figure 14.4 this is the figure 14.4 which is given in a book okay a switch and a bulb theek hai when she put switch in on position the bulb did not glow okay jab zubeda ne is circuit ko ek switch aur bulb ke sath connect kiya to bulb glow nahi hua bulb yani jala nahi ab aapko help karni hai zubeda ko ki for identify the possible defects in the circuit ab kya defects ho sakte hain beta just have a look on this diagram आपके ये जो दो आयरन की प्लेट्स हैं जो हमने यहाँ पर यूज करे हैं इनके बीच में हमने दो सेल्स को कनेक्ट किया है ठीक है सबसे पहली बात तो ये हो सकती है कि सेल्स के टर्मिनल्स करेक्टली कनेक्टेड ना हो दूसरी चीज ये हो सकती है कि ये जो आपकी आयरन प्लेट्स हैं ठीक है थीके? ये टाइटली फिटेड नहीं हो बिकॉज वी आर यूजिंग दिस रबर बैंड फाइन हेयर इट इज अ रबर बैंड फाइन तो ये हो सकता है ये लूज हो फाइन सो हेयर वी कैन राइट बोथ द रीजन सो वी विल राइट हेयर वन ऑफ द रीजन मे बी दैट रबर बैंड यूज इन द सेल होल्डर मे नॉट बी टाइट इनफ टू कीप द टू सेल्स इन कॉन्टेक्ट विथ ईच अदर ये वाला रीजन सब बच्चों को समझ में आ गया fine if cells are not in the proper contact with each other then the circuit will not complete and current will not flow through the circuit is that clear everybody further hence the bulb will not glow the other reason may be that the two cells are not connected properly okay the negative terminal of one cell must be connected to the positive terminal of the other cell is that clear everybody to ye minus hai sorry ye minus hai to ye plus hona chahiye is that clear move to the next question class and this is the last question of our chapter in the circuit shown in figure 14.25 okay just have a look on the circuit diagram this is a bulb a bulb b bulb c and here it is a battery and this switch is switch is off okay so first question that arises from here would any of the bulb glow when the switch is in off position how is it possible स्विच ही ऑफ है तो कोई भी बल्ब कैसे चलेगा नहीं जल सकता वापस देखो एक बार क्या कोई भी बल्ब चलेगा नहीं जलेगा ठीक है सो आंसर इज नो वेन द स्विच इज इन ऑफ पोजिशन द करेंट डज नॉट फ्लो थ्रू द सर्किट हैंस नन ऑफ द बल्ब विल ग्लो समझ में आ गया रीड द नेक्स्ट वन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट what will be the order in which bulb a b c will glow when the switch is moved to the on position kitna matlab uljhane wala question hai na aap logon ke liye ki kaun sa bulb matlab bulb kis order mein jalenge pehle a jalega fir b jalega fir c jalega ya pehle c jalega fir b fir then a what is the answer bulb will glow simultaneously when the switch is moved to the on position when all the bulbs will glow at once obviously baat hai kyunki switch alag thodi hai switch to ek hi hai this is because they are connected to the same battery and switch 
Is it clear everybody? Students with this question, all the question answers of your chapter completes here. Okay, write all the question answers in your, your science notebook or register and learn them. Very soon we will meet in other video of next chapter. Till then, take care everybody and thank you.